Hello everyone and welcome back to DLD on YouTube. Up next, we are going to be taking a look at a pretty new uh, 320 from Sig Sauer. Uh, so, clear that, set that to the side. Uh, in the box, you're going to get three brand new packaged 20 round mags. I believe they're actually technically 22 round mags. Um, Well, 21 technically, one in the chamber. Uh, so 21 round mags. It is going to have the various Allen wrenches needed for removing, changing batteries, all that stuff. You are going to get some of that SIG Spec 1 premium blend lubricant that they have been uh, giving in the boxes, SIG, you know, literature, all that, your uh, Romeo 3 Max information. Uh, and then down here, we are going to get your custom works little medallion it is going to come with a separate recoil spring so you can very finely tune that recoil system as well as cable lock and a little chamber flag so let's set all this to the side and we'll actually start looking at the pistol and this can be in a standard sig case so pistol itself is clear nothing in there so uh we'll start with the, the romeo 3 max it is going to be a 30 millimeter objective lensed red dot. Uh, it is going to ha be powered by a single 2032 battery. Uh, it is going to have, I believe this one's the 3 MOA dot. Uh, it does not say anywhere, but it is a smaller dot. Would assume it is the 3 MOA. Uh, IPX7 rated, so it can be submerged. It's going to weigh about an ounce and a half. It has 10 daylight settings, 2 night vision settings, uh, a total of 110 MOA elevation uh, adjustment, so 100 or 55 up, 55 down, 40 MOA windage, 40 40 one way, 40 in the other, and a 25,000 hour run time. So uh, it will run for quite a long time, and that is kind of dim on camera. There's that. Be an awesome little uh, optic. Uh, battery door right here, two little screws, pops that 2032 out, 2032 battery out, uh, up and down uh, for your adjustments, and then you hold both of them to turn the optic completely off. If you forget to turn that optic off, it's not really that big of a deal because it actually does have SIGS MOTAC, which is going to uh, kind of auto turn off that optic, which is kind of cool. Uh, it is going to be a full size 320. Uh, it is going to have a 5 inch barrel on here. It is going to be a carbon steel barrel that does have a nitride finish. It is going to have a stainless steel slide. That slide is going to uh, as well have a uh, nitron finish uh, with it, which is nice. Uh, it is going to have the same internal uh, stainless steel frame with the grip module uh, the, with the external polymer grip module. We'll kind of get into that grip module here in a second. It is going to have some nice serrations all around this optic. Uh, on the top, they do remove the sights on here. Uh, you're strictly going to be running only uh, that Romeo 3. You're going to have that match Max Mitchell logo, the Romeo Max, Max Mitchell logo over here as well here. And you do get that SIG Customs, Custom Works. Uh, it is going to have a non-captured recoil spring in there uh, so like I was saying you can finally tune that one is going to be for uh, standard velocity ammo one is going to be for uh, kind of some powder puff loads if you will uh, so you can definitely fine tune that with some custom hand loads and uh, you know, basically get no recoil out of that which is nice uh, it is going to use the Legion X5 frame, which is going to be a tungsten infused frame. Uh, and I will actually get into something with that because that is kind of cool and that you don't see it very often. Uh, with this frame, uh, it is going to have an accessory rail. If you do want to attach a light or something like that, that is possible. Uh, or some weight to kind of weight it down. It is going to have ambidextrous slide lock, so you can lock the slide on either side. 
right there. Takedown lever, as you did see, and we do have a magazine release. Uh, magazine release is swappable. Uh, this is going to have a nice large beaver tail. Mind you, you get extremely high up on that pistol. Uh, the 320 has a pretty large bore axis, so the higher you can get up on the pistol, the better. Uh, and then we have an undercut, again, allowing you to get high up on that pistol. Nice texturing, kind of all around that. And then we are going to have a nice large magwell down low. Uh, very easy to slam a magazine in there. So let me take this slide off and show you something. Um, so this frame... Uh, see where is a good so right here this little there's no good right there so right here this is actually a tungsten weight uh, so that can be removed and it will actually lighten the pistol up uh, the pistol is going to be uh, pretty heavy sitting at 43 and a half ounces, you know, typically, uh, oh, a, a, th a SIG 226 or like a CZ 75 is going to be in like the 35 to 38 ounce range. This thing is way heavier than that. Um, you know, going to be a few ounces heavier, which is, doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, every ounce actually counts um, when it comes to a handgun. Extremely light recoil spring as well. And then you're going to get four of these 21 round mags. 21 plus one is 22. Uh, that's where I was saying that earlier. You know, polymer follower, polymer base plate. Uh, and then that mag will very easy to insert. The reason they give you the extended is for the capacity for like competition shootings. This would be fantastic for that. Uh, but it just makes it easier to fit in the mag well if you need to rip it out or slam it in there. You, you're not getting caught up on the magwell and not actually able to uh, drop it in there and then they also do give you a cover so this is kind of a, a brief look it does also have the skeletonized flat face trigger uh, that trigger is going to be the same trigger you see on the legions uh, the other axg uh, pistols out there nothing crazy we'll take a look at that trigger as well so break right there it is going to have a little bit longer reset um, break. I would assume that's going to be in the uh, three to four pound range, somewhere in that range. Uh, but that is going to be that AXG Scorpion. Um, but yeah, have a good day, everyone. Definitely check it out. We did get uh, about six of them in on our website. Uh, again, that is dld-vip.com. Uh, have a good have a good day, everyone.